Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I got a little bug fluttering around. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> anyway, good morning, good morning. It is the first Sunday in Advent. Uh, Advent, uh, as you know, takes place four Sundays before Christmas. So we're we're getting there. And Advent, you know, is the... I always like to say the King is coming. So, uh, all right. Oh, this morning, I think I'm having... Uh, I think that's Texas Pecan. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. I've, I've got a big bowl over there that my father made. And whenever I get this... I get this variety pack from HEB of uh, just K cups. I just reach in and grab one, and I don't even I don't even know which one I grab. It had a blue label. So uh, anyway, good stuff. Had a l- little bit more of this before I get to the readings. Uh, but anyway, like I said, it's the first Sunday in Advent. Uh, the King is coming, and uh, so that's just kind of love it, love it. All right. Well, this morning we're going to start out. Uh, in the Old Testament, of course, uh, Isaiah chapter 2, and then we're going to Psalm 122, and then we have a reading in Romans, and then we're going to the Gospel of Matthew. Uh, love uh, Romans. I've heard Romans described as the Fort Knox of Christian doctrine, so it's always good to go to Romans. So here we go. Isaiah chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. Get a little coffee. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. So, here we go. The word that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains, and shall be raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. All right. Uh, The next reading is Psalm 122. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem, built as a city that is bound firmly together. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, as was decreed for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there the thrones for judgment were set up, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and security within your towers. For the sake of my relatives and friends, I will say, Peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. Amen. Get a little coffee. Once again, I'm drinking out of my old Ford mug. Uh, That's another one my father made. All right. Uh, The New Testament lesson, uh, the epistle lesson this morning, Romans chapter 13, verses 11 through 14. So here we go. Besides this, you know what time it is, how it is now the moment for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not in reveling or drunkenness, not in debauchery or licentiousness, not in quarreling or in jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. I love that... uh, that for salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. And that's, you know, every day you wake up, it, salvation is closer, and it's a, or that, that day is coming. So 
Uh, I, I don't know. Just makes you feel good, I guess. All right. Uh, Matthew, the gospel lesson this morning, Matthew 24, chapter, I mean, chapter 24, verses 36 through 44. So. But about that day and hour, no one knows, neither the angels of heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. For as the days of Noah were, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing until the flood came and swept them all away. So too will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two will be in the field. One will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding meal together. One will be taken and one will be left. Keep awake, therefore, for you do not know what day your, your Lord is coming. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not let his house be broken into. Therefore, you must also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour, at an unexpected hour. And this is the word of the Lord. All right, well, as always, uh, the, on Sundays, the Revised Common Lectionary offers a series of prayers. And um, there'll be a part here where it says prayers for the people concluding with. And uh, uh, if you'd like, you can pause the video and, and, and pray for those people in your life and that, that you know. And then start it up again. It's totally up to you. So, I'll, uh, so let's get started. So let us pray. God of justice and peace, from the heavens you rain down mercy and kindness, that all on earth may stand in awe and wonder before your marvelous deeds. Raise our heads in expectation that we may yearn for the coming day of the Lord, and stand without blame before your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with, with you forever and ever. Amen. And then the intercessory. We seek the mighty... We seek the mighty God in the most unlikely places, as a child in a stable and in an empty tomb. May God hear these prayers, which come from the unlikely corners of our lives. There's a few people on my heart and, 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 and heart and mind, and uh, I'd like to pray for those. And God knows who they are. There's a, a, a gentleman, a friend of mine that uh, is dealing. His daughter is dealing with cancer, and I'd like to lift him up in prayers and um, uh, so all right give us ears to hear O God and eyes to watch that we may know your presence in our midst during this holy season of joy as we anticipate the coming of Jesus Christ amen in concluding unexpected God your advent alarms us wake us from drowsy worship from the sleep that neglects love and the sedative of misdirected frenzy. Awaken us now to your coming, and bend our angers into your peace. Amen. All right. Well, <clears throat> that, that concludes the readings for today. So, uh, anyway, first Sunday in Advent. I'm looking forward to the Advent season. So, uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Y'all have an awesome day. So, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. God bless.